I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Now, today we're reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 10. Let's focus on verses 16 through 20. Look, I am sending you out like sheep unto wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as serpents and harmless as doves. Because people will hand you over to the Sanhedrin and flog you in their synagogues, beware of them. You will even be brought before governors and kings because of me to bear witness to them and to the nations. But when they hand you over, don't worry about how or what you should speak. For you will be given what to say at that hour because you are not speaking, but the Spirit of your Father is speaking through you. Now, children bear the resemblance of their parents, and that can be good or bad, I suppose. Fortunately, my kids got their mother's good looks. But resemblance goes beyond physical appearance. Often, negative attitudes or self-destructive behavior are learned from living in a worldly family environment, a turbulent upbringing. And you never know how much your values are affected by your upbringing until you're under pressure. They say people are like tea bags. You never know what's on the inside until you put them in hot water. And soon after calling his disciples, Jesus sent them out. He tossed them the keys to the kingdom, as it were, and he said, take her for a spin. And Jesus gave simple instructions, faith-building challenges. And when they came back, they're all bragging about how even the demons were submitting to them. You know, overconfidence is the crown of adolescence. However, Jesus told them how serious things would get. And little did they realize that persecution was just around the corner. And they weren't quite so slap happy when they learned that following Jesus often means that entering the kingdom may come through the door of martyrdom. And there's a reason why we study the Bible in community and why we discuss the Bible, sharing what the Lord is revealing to each of us. When you read the Bible, you're sowing the seeds of readiness to be prepared always to give reason for the hope that is within you. Jeremiah 31, verse 33. Instead, this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after those days. The Lord's declaration, I will put my teaching within them, my Torah, that is, my teaching, and I will write it on their hearts, the Bible, and I will be their God, and they will be my people. Eventually, each of us will be called to give reason for that hope within us. And for many, bearing witness of Christ will consist of a series of simple conversations. Others will face life or death faith challenges. And whenever that time comes, whatever the situation is, the faithful will open their mouths and allow the Holy Spirit to speak through them from the inventory of Scripture that is in their hearts. The Holy Spirit will literally draw from the Word of God that you are storing up in your heart daily as you read the Bible. If you don't read the Bible, what's He going to draw from? God is fond of giving pop quizzes at extremely inopportune times, believe me. So, we should stay alert, we should stay sharp, and be prepared. You know, jazz trumpet legend Miles Davis once said, If it's not in your heart, it won't come out your horn. So be diligent in Scripture and in prayer. You never know when the Lord's going to toss you a solo. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. You know, Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people like you. And yes, we need your support. You know, giving is easy, uh, simple. uh, At our website, groundworksministries.com. No, another way to help us is just tell people about us. Tell them about Groundworks Ministries. And of course, you can always lead them to our website, groundworksministries.com.